you look incredible. Uh, that's, I know people are friendly at Greenbelt, but I wasn't expecting someone to tell me that first thing when I came on site. The thing is, I've got many friends here that I only ever see once a year. And I'd forgotten that this time last year, there was 50% more of me. Uh, I wish there's some, there's some water backstage. And it was the equivalent of two pallets of water. And mostly people ask me the same questions. They ask me, are you well? Uh, they think I'm ill. And yeah, I'm fine. And they ask me, are you trying to lose weight? And I, I guess, yes, I have been. And then they ask me what the secret has been. And this sounds like a terrible internet advert, doesn't it? But one of those friends asked me to answer that question publicly. And that's what I'm doing here. So how technology can help you lose weight faster than you might imagine. BMI, or oh, scary concept. But apparently, at this time last year, I was obese. I didn't know that. And to join the minority of people in this country who are healthy, uh, that's one in three people who are a healthy weight, I had to lose four stone. Uh, one stone seemed a pretty daunting challenge. You know, was that even possible? Could I change? And uh, would that fit in with my life? Well, it started out with a hunch. I thought, well, maybe I should just get a bit more active. I mean, I, last year I walked 500 miles recreationally. I'm quite a keen walker. I, I thought I was quite active. But maybe I just needed to get out a little bit more. So technology, these little devices, mobile phones. The latest phones have got them. Uh, circuits that will track how much you're moving. And there are all sorts of apps that will tell you uh, how you're going. And I thought I'd give that a go. Nike Plus was the first one I tried. Nike Plus Move. Um, it awards you fuel. A completely pointless concept, but it gives you a bigger number the more you move. And you can compare one day with the previous day and so on. And I pretty soon got quite addicted to finding out was I moving more or was I moving less? Um, there's a leaderboard as well. It turns out if you get on, uh, if you walk for an extra half hour on the way to the bus every morning, you soon top the UK leaderboard. Uh, and then you get really annoyed when someone is doing a tiny bit more than you and uh, come back off those leaderboards. But the problem was that uh, I don't always carry my phone with me. Um, so various companies have solved that and they've taken all the, the circuitry that works out how much you're moving, and they've shrunk it down, and they've put it in wristbands, or in little clip-on gadgets, or, or something like this. This is called a, a Fitbit One, and it's, um, it's really boring. It's a pedometer. It counts how many steps I take. There we are, that's a, that's a couple more. Um, and so far today, uh, apparently I've done 7,410 steps. Um, it knows how tall I am, I've told it, and it reckons that means I've walked 3.08 miles. Wow. It also has an altimeter. It reckons I've climbed 15, the equivalent of 15 floors today. Um, it synchronizes with an app on the phone, and I can see all of those things on the phone, uh, and so I can compare again, day in, day out, am I exercising more, am I exercising less? But there's another trick, there's, and this is the key thing. With, with Fitbit, and there are other companies that do the same thing, with Fitbit, you can, uh, by telling it your age and your weight, it takes those numbers and turns them into the number of calories you've burned. And calorie counting, apparently, uh, back in the 70s, was a big thing. Well, in my book, it's quite a big thing now. So according to Fitbit, I looked just a minute ago, I've burned 1,385 calories today. And if I eat fewer calories than I burn, I should lose weight. That's the theory. So I gave it a go. And um, if you tell Fitbit uh, what your goal weight is um, and tell it how hardcore you want to be about losing weight, it gives you a budget and it will tell you at the end of uh, how many calories you've got left for the rest of the day. Brilliant. If you're, uh, if you're running out of calories, quick loop around the block. Uh, and literally, I, all I've been doing is walking. I've not been running or anything extreme like that. If you've uh, got a few calories spare, eat cake, celebrate. 
You can even hook it up to digital scales in the bathroom. Uh, this is really good fun because you don't have to worry about weighing yourself. You step on the scales first thing in the morning, step off them, and I, I don't know what, you know, who cares what I weigh? I just want to know whether I'm losing weight or I'm becoming healthier or, uh, or going the wrong way. Um, the side note, if you visit my house, don't step on my scales because your weight gets uploaded to the internet. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing how many people weigh themselves at my house. I never knew. So eat less, exercise more. I mean, who knew? Big secret, right? The key thing is, um, we all know the secret, but these technical devices bring all of the information into one place and help us see what we need to do. Um, information really is powerful in this sort of environment. After four months, I'd lost four stone. I'm still a little bit shocked at that. Um, and I wouldn't say that Fitbit or there are plenty of other devices that do similar things as companies like Garmin and Nike uh, produce very similar devices. I wouldn't say that they're a panacea, that they're the solution. Um, the Fitbit device didn't lose weight for me. I did that. And it's been hard work at times. But it's been fun. And, uh, and I feel really great. It's kind of hard counting calories when you're eating out, but you know, some restaurants publish their information online and there's another good technical reason to carry uh, uh, the internet in your pocket. Um, and um, here this weekend, I don't stand a chance working out how many calories uh, I'm going to consume. That's futile. So uh, you'll see me in the queue with Cambion Organics, uh, just like everyone else. But come Tuesday, I know what I need to do to get back on track if the scales and my device and so on tell me that, oh, Paul, you know, You've taken a bit of a step back. So maybe like me, last year, you feel, well, I've got a few pounds I could shed. If you do, there's three things I'd like you to remember. Information really is powerful. Change is possible. And you're incredible. Thank you. <laughs>